about to hit the Great Ocean Road to South Australia and um, I'm actually uh, just looking out at the beautiful Tasman Sea here and uh, there's a beautiful sunrise just ahead of me so you can probably see the sun on my face. Uh, I've spent a beautiful few days in Lock Sport which is <coughs> uh, in Victoria with my cousins just catching up. I hadn't seen them for a number of years so that was amazing. Um, I had some lovely um, days in Marimbula, um, Pambula um, and that's the south coast of New South Wales so really loving my van life experience and um, doing the solo has been um, really um, you know I guess um, an opportunity to grow um, overcome some of my fears and, and um, just step out of my comfort zone and do it <laughs> um, so following on from my last video uh, and uh, I, uh, I was just uh, sharing with you how I came into Australia but just going back a little way um, there's a bit of a gap in my timeline that I wanted to fill in and that was when I was in uh, when I was living with my father I was going to Avondale College and because of the ongoing trauma and the foster home experience and, and the bullying at school that I received, uh, uh, school was uh, not my priority and I actually failed the school certificate in my first year and left school and, and got a job and um, just had to support myself so um, I went back and uh, studied a school certificate uh, so that I could do an adult apprenticeship in clothing and textiles and I worked for a, a manufacturer in Auckland called Ambler and Company which was the largest shirt manufacturer in New Zealand and uh, I did a three-year apprenticeship and went to trade college and did my trade certificate and uh, at the end of that training I actually gained the New Zealand uh, Apprentice of the Year Award and the Golden Shears and that was a huge achievement for me considering that I actually failed in school and didn't consider myself to be an academic at all. So. From my apprenticeship, I then went on to work for a textile company in Auckland called William MacDonald. And I went on to um, the Auckland University of Technology and did my marketing and sales diploma and sales management. And then during this time working for this amazing textile company, they offered me the opportunity to come to Australia and set up their Australian operation in Sydney and so that's what I did and it actually was a very difficult time in my life because my niece very traumatically died and I was actually um, quite a big part of her life just before I left and uh, I actually uh, went to her funeral and then within days I had to leave and um, come to another country to live and leave all my family and friends behind and it was an extremely difficult time and um, I set up this Australian operation, uh, travelled to all of our European suppliers so I went to Ireland, London, Germany to meet the suppliers and, and build a rapport with them because uh, I would be directly importing fabrics from, from their factories. So I found a premises in Surrey Hills and I uh, 
set up that operation and it was a small operation. Uh, there were three of us working there. I had a warehouseman, I had a, a administration lady and then um, toward the end there I also had uh, a sales assistant. And it was interesting because I had so many naysayers in New Zealand saying, you're crazy, you know, you're a Kiwi, you're going to set up an Australian operation and run it um, in a market that was reducing and going offshore. So the clothing industry was going off to China, um, especially the cut, make and trim part of it. And um, they didn't believe that I could gain a, a little slice of a market that was actually reducing. But I was really proud because I took that business from nothing to a million dollars turnover in the eight years that I, I was operating that. And during that time I met my ex-husband and uh, we got married and had two beautiful children, Hamish and Jessica. Um, and Hamish is now 25 almost and Jessica's 21. So, um, so we were living in Sydney and then we moved to the Gold Coast when Hamish was two years old and Jessica was born on the Gold Coast. Um, unfortunately that marriage uh, only lasted 11 years and um, I, uh, I went on to um, become a personal trainer. I met um, Michael who is a comedian and we decided to start an amazing show together called The Dream Guards. And this was all about teaching kids about nutrition and health and exercise. And also in a fun way, Michael was a, an amazing entertainer. And uh, there was a, a lot of magic and balloon artistry and comedy. And it was slap, slapstick sort of comedy in the show. And it was uh, high energy and, and vibrant. And then um, I decided that I wanted to help kids stand up to bullying us uh, to make the show a bit more impactful for kids because of my experiences. And so one day I went into this meditation with the intention to come up with some tools that would um, stand for the universal sign for stop. And I came out of this meditation and my peace tools were born. And um, they became the anchor of the Dream Guard show and uh, we were getting steadily booked by primary schools across Australia for uh, this really empowering show to help kids stand up to bullying and build resilience in their lives. And it was an incredibly meaningful way to turn my um, childhood trauma and the tragedy of losing my mum to uh, something really positive and um, impactful for children because of my experiences. So, um, so it gave, gave me a purpose in life and uh, that was uh, an incredible opportunity and uh, something I am extremely grateful for to this day. Um, uh, during this time also the birthing of the Global Gratitude Chain started which is a movement um, where people share a little link and uh, they write down what they're grateful for and it gets uh, linked together in a chain and um, I've received um, thousands and thousands of links from all over the world and this chain is now almost five football fields long and growing all the time and uh, we've had people from Hong Kong and China and India and America and New Zealand and schools come on board and it's, uh, it's been a really incredible movement. Um, it's, it's a connection of people side by side on a chain taking a mindful moment to think of something they're grateful for in their life and write it down. So, uh, yeah, if, uh, if that's something you would like to be a part of, please, please reach out to me. Um, so, uh, I will continue um, to share with you 
how um, from the Dream Dad show it turned into a solo show on my next on my next um, on my next video. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in and um, I appreciate your support.